Hi everyone, welcome to Newegg TV. My name is Paul and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and overview of this wireless dual band router from Ingenius. This is the Ingenius ESR750H. So the full name of this product is the Ingenius Extra Range Live Dual Concurrent Media Router, model ESR750H. Uh, the 750 there is representative of the 750 megabits per second maximum theoretical throughput of the wireless radios. It's a dual band router, so it uh, functions on both the 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz uh, band, and you can connect to either one, but you can't do both at the same time. So you'll get a max of uh, 300 or 450 megabits per second, respectively, from the 2.4 gigahertz or 5 gigahertz band. Next up, you get uh, 10x gigabit connectivity. I'm, I, I believe that's referring to the gigabit uh, hub that's built in, so 10 times the typical 100 megabit hub that you get in a lot of routers. So uh, you get gigabit connectivity in the back. You get five antennas for maximum coverage. Uh, two of them are external. They are 100 milliwatt high output uh, double wireless range antennas, so that will give you maximum range from the router. Uh, it's saying three floors of penetration uh, from your wireless radio, so depending on the construction of your house or the office or wherever you have this installed, that, uh, that's, that's sort of giving you an example of what you might be able to uh, get access to the router from if you're connecting wirelessly. You also get a USB port on the back, so you can use that for USB storage and sharing. Uh, you get integrated network security. Of course, you have WPA and WPA2 uh, wireless uh, connection security. And you get Wi-Fi multimedia streaming, which there's a little bit more information about on the back of the box. So um, here's just a little diagram of that extended range you get with the uh, built-in antennas. Uh, there is some information about the built-in firewall. You get a hardware firewall with the router, which is uh, very important to have. Uh, smart media streaming. So here's just a quick example of using the dual band functions. So down here, for example, you have a laptop, a tablet, PC, a smartphone. Those are functioning on the 2.4 gigahertz band. And then over here on the lower right, you have uh, stuff like a wireless HD stereo, so like a high definition television um, with a wireless capable receiver. Or for instance, a game console. You have those hooked up to the 5 gigahertz band. That way they don't interfere with each other. You get maximum throughput. Uh, for particularly the media streaming, that way if you're running uh, HD video or that sort of thing, you won't have any lost frames or stuttering. Uh, you also get that AirPlay functionality with this, so if you have an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPad Touch, and if you have USB speakers, you can plug the USB speakers into the router and then wirelessly play your media from uh, that Apple device over the router. Next up, let's take a look at what comes inside the box. You get some documentation here about the USB services. Uh, again, you can connect a uh, USB thumb drive or an external drive to the USB port on the back of the router. Use it for network storage. Uh, you do require to install some software for that, though. Here's the router itself. We're going to come back to that in just a moment. Let's go over the rest of the accessories. This is probably an AC adapter. This is an AC adapter right there. Plug in and provide power to the device. Here's a little contact card for Ingenius for worldwide technical support, so you can use that to contact them if you're having any troubles. Here are your included external antenna. Again, five total antenna. Three of them are internal. Uh, these two are external, so these are 5 dBi antenna. Uh, they can be articulated to improve your uh, wireless range. If that is helpful for you, you can try that out. Uh, here also you have some drywall uh, screw inserts and some screws, so you can use those to mount the router directly to a wall. You also get your Ingenious Extra Range Router Manual right here, so it's got uh, different languages and basic instruction for setting up, instructions I should say, for setting up and getting the router up and running, logging into the router from a internet browser. You also get an RJ45 cable right there, so Ethernet cable to help connect the router to your existing home network. And you also get this ingenious installation disk. So you can run that on your computer to go through the setup process to get the router up and running, or you can use the instructions in the manual. So here's a look at the router itself. As you can see, it's got a glossy black finish, ingenious and extra range logos there. Uh, on the right side here, we have some, well, there's indicator lights all the way across the bottom, but on the right side, we have one, two, three, and four. That's indicating your connection for the wired. Uh, Ethernet ports there at the back of the router for your gigabit connections. Uh, the little Saturn looking logo there is indicating if you have an internet connection. And then we have uh, indicator lights for the 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz wireless radios. Next to that is a power indicator light. 
And I was a little bit unsure actually about these uh, final buttons here on the left side. So I double check the manufacturer's website. Uh, this is a WPS button and indicator light. So the WPS button right there. And it can actually serve a few different purposes. So you can press it for one to five seconds to activate the uh, WPS setup. And you can use that when you're initially plugging in the router to set up your password and everything using WPS. If you press it for six to ten seconds, it will automatically reboot the router. And then if you hold it for 20 seconds, it will reset the router to factory defaults. Next up, here on the bottom of the router, we have some ventilation. Uh, we also have some rubberized feet that the router will sit on, provides it a little bit of space there so it can get airflow to make sure it stays cool. Also here on the back, you can see the mounting points for those included screws if you want to wall mount it. Finally, around here on the back, as you can see, I have connected the uh, two external antenna. Uh, on the left side here is a power switch, so you got a physical switch there to turn the router on or off. That's where your AC adapter plugs in. Uh, then you have these wired ports right here. Again, this is gigabit, gigabit Ethernet, 1,000 megabit per second LAN ports. Uh, and then speaking of which, your wireless connection on this is, is compatible with 802.11 A, B, G, or N. Of course, backwards compatible, but if you want that fast uh, wireless connectivity, you will want to use devices that have 802.11 N wireless adapters. Finally, there on the right side is your WAN port, and that's where you plug in the Ethernet port that comes over from your modem that's generally provided by your internet service provider. Also right here, you have a USB 2.0 port. Again, can be used for a few of the uh, different features on this device. You can use it for that AirPlay feature. If you plug in some USB connected speakers, you can plug in a uh, USB flash drive or external hard drive and set up some um, network connected, uh, network, network attached storage, I should say. Or you can also plug in a printer right there and uh, it has a built-in printer server so you can share your printer over the other devices on your network. Some other features of this, you also get VPN support. So for uh, virtual private networking, you have support for PPTP, L2TP, and IPSEZ, IP security, uh, if you're going to be running a VPN. And that's going to wrap it up for this video. Once again, this has been the ESR750H dual band wireless router from Ingenious. I'm Paul with Newegg TV, and if you enjoyed today's video, please head over to our Newegg YouTube channel, and don't forget to subscribe for more tech videos. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time.